Hello everyone, uh, this is Doug again. Um, today's topic um, is about drought. Um, I don't know where anybody lives. Um, I live directly in the middle of Wisconsin. Alright. Um, something that's on my mind is we don't got one snow um, snowfall this last winter. You know, and it uh, wasn't all that big. Uh, um, and that was that was about it. Um, we only got one inch of rain, maybe 1.1 inches of rain total at all, at least where I live. And uh, I'm curious, well, what, what, you know, what everybody else is going through with their cities is their bands where you can't have, you can't um, have campfires, bonfires, um, you can't water the lawn, wash your car, or whatever. I've heard some other states like Indiana that had implemented that in a significant find. Um, if I look at the grass and everything outside, it's totally brown. Everything. It's if you looked at um, my previous videos, uh, would you drink out of this river? You can see how deep the water is. And uh, I'm going to be doing a part two to this video tomorrow. I'll actually be outside, and uh, I got to get some batteries for the camcorder. Um, that river is like almost totally empty. It, it's so brown everywhere. Crops, everything is failing. Um, I'm, I'm talking literally everything around, you know, um, there's a lot of rumors, a lot of gossip. It's all over the news. Um, no, in, you know, Wisconsin, we're known, we're known for our corn. And there's a lot of things that happen with corn. You can eat it, you know, use it for feed, whatever. But what's important is you get ethanol from corn. And the problem is, is that uh, without corn, the price of ethanol goes up because it's supply and demand. And therefore, you know, they need ethanol for gasoline. Uh, we're going to see gas prices go up. But we're also going to see the prices of um, your vegetables, canned foods, everything across the board. We're going we're to see inflation. I know we're seeing inflation. It's going up, you know, a little bit at, you know, at a time. But we're going to see things go up really, really a lot. In the, in the fall, uh, we, we're getting absolutely no rain, and the temperature here in Wisconsin on average a day is um, today is like 102. Um, we only had one break all year, which was probably one of the nicer days. It was probably last Tuesday. Our temperature here, or at least where I live, was 73, 74 degrees out. It was nice and cool, uh, but we got no rain. It's uh, um, and. Another thing I wanted everybody to be aware of, uh, that, that river I told you about, uh, would you drink out of this river? It, it, you know, it's right next to my house, but there's a factory. And uh, they actually dumped chemicals and everything. There was a leak that went right into the river. You know, even, you know, you couldn't drink out of the river the way it was, and this made it even worse. Uh, so I wanted to kind of, you know, expound on that a little bit. Uh, it's so bad here. It's so dry. Brushes. Uh, my grass in my yard is horrific. Last year, I remember it was nice, so we got plenty of rain. I put a couple hundred dollars into a fertilizer and grass seed. I planted the lawn really nice. And my next video is I'll be in the backyard in a couple, uh, like next week, but you're going to see it. it. It is literally horrible here in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm welcoming them. You know, all comments, video responses, give me a general idea where you live and what the temperature and the weather has been like. Um, it, it's just, we can get cloud cover like today. It looks like it's going to rain, but you know it's not going to rain. Um, this drought alone is going to really, really hit us hard in Wisconsin. And I'd like to know from other what other states you guys are coming from, other countries. How is the weather there? How is the temperature? Um, give me plenty of video responses, and uh, please keep them respectful and courteous. I try to keep a little bit of an open mind. I try to be fair and you know unbiased. So um, another thing, uh, during an SHTF scenario or something like that happens, you know, if you live in Wisconsin or something, you can get to my house. I got plenty of food and supplies. So, um, God bless, take care.